Hi students, today we're going to show you how to make a wallpaper with your photo and your name and school information for your iPad using the app Atypic. So the first thing you want to do is find the app Atypic on your iPad. If you don't know where it is, go ahead and swipe down and type A-T-Y-P-I-C and it should pop up. Click on the app and it will should load for you. Okay, we're going to do a snapshot because you want to take a picture of yourself. It's going to ask if Atypic would like to access the camera. Say OK because you want your camera to be able to talk to the app. Now I want to switch this around and take a picture of myself. So I'm going to smile, look at the camera. I'll click Use Photo and I'm good to go. You can crop it if you need to. Okay. Um, you can do the quick tour if you'd like. I'm going to do a quick how-to for you right now, though, so you don't need to. Now, the first thing that it, the app makes you do is choose one of these auto tint filter or tint. I always choose tint, and then I just choose a color that I like and click the check mark in the bottom right. Now I can go ahead and add text to my photo. So I'm going to click the T. And you want to make sure, I know it's easy to get carried away with these fun fonts, but you want to make sure that you choose one that's easy to read for this purpose. So I'm going to choose the third one down on the very left column because it's easy to read. Okay, I'm going to type in my name. Don't forget to use a capital because it is a name. It is your name. <laughs> okay, I'm going to um, take the screen, the keyboard down, bottom right, right down here. I'm going to click that button to get rid of that keyboard. I'm going to click the arrow, say next, okay, and my name will appear there. You don't really need to mess with any of these things up here. I'm just going to press the next button, and then I can move this so it's out of my way. So I want my name on my iPad, and I also need the name of my school. So I'm going to press the check mark to say, okay, I like where that my name is. And now I'm going to go ahead and add another, um, another text block. Again, I'm going to use font that's easy to read for this purpose because if somebody picks up my iPad and turns it on, I want them to be able to see my name and what school it belongs to. So I'm going to choose that third one down in the first column. I'm going to put the name of my school in. I'm going to say Lindo Park, if that were my school. If you go to a different school, type in a different school name. Type in your school name. Okay, get rid of that keyboard by pressing this keyboard down button. Press Next. Um, I don't really need to, again, mess around with anything up here or any of these things. I'm just going to press Next. Okay, and I can move this to where I need it to be so it's out of my way. And I'm going to press the check mark once it's good to go. Okay. Now when it's all finished and it looks good to me, I'm going to click the export button Okay, and I'm going to save it to my camera roll. It's going to ask you which size to save it in. I always do it in the medium size. Okay. Then I'm going to wait and that, now it's going to be exported to my camera roll, but it does say Atypic would like to access your photos. I'm going to say OK because I want to be able to save my work onto my camera roll. If I click don't allow, it's not going to let me save my work there. So now to change my home screen, I'm going to go, I'm going to leave this and I'm going to go to my camera roll. To get to my camera roll, I'm going to press this little button down here and all my pictures will pop up and the most recent one that I just saved is right there. So to save it, I'm, or to save it as my home screen, I'm going to export it here. Okay, and then I want to make it, I want to use it as wallpaper. So that's this button right here. Okay. Click that. And let's see, I'm going to size it so it, everything fits in there so you can see my name on the top, you can see my school name, and you can see my picture there. I am, you can set it as your lock screen, you can set it as your home screen, or you can set it as both. I'm going to set it as both for today. And now when I leave this and I go to my home screen, you can see my picture is in the back there. Also, if I put my iPad to sleep and then I wake it up, you're going to be able to see my name on top 
my picture, and my school name. This way if somebody picks up your iPad and they turn it on, they'll be able, they'll know exactly who to return it to.